Well, figured I'd give y'all a little update on what in the hell is going on. If you watched my last two latest videos, Deer Season is here. Favorite time of year. Well, my favorite time of year just took a dump on me. Where I am hunting, they put in a, apparently put in a new bridge. And they're taking out the old ramp for the old one. Which means an excavator and a lot of dump trucks. And as you can imagine, all I am hearing is air brakes, them big tailgates smacking everywhere, and the excavator digging away and turning this way and turning that way. If that wasn't bad enough, heading to town tonight to uh, get some stuff. The one I just fixed, the one I just put the diamond chain in, and I ain't gotten, well, no, I ain't got 300 miles out of it yet. The timing chain, I don't know if it's a tension or just a chain, has, I am guessing, broke. It was right in the middle of the highway, it wouldn't pull itself. I got it basically off the side of the road and into a level ditch. Yeah, great. Little two wheel drive, 2.2 S10 in a ditch on the side of the road. Can you guess how I'm going to get it out of there? But also, I have, well, I have to get done hunting tomorrow, or maybe just bring it back tomorrow and fix on that, I don't know yet. But, take it apart, which I probably will video that, in the video at the first dang time. And, if I get it apart, and it's not the timing chain, or the timing chain tensioner, then, um, yeah, I will be digging through a motor trying to figure out what is going on. And you guys get to watch it all. All my misery. Oh, yeah. But luckily enough, if it is the timing chain and the timing chain tension and all that good jazz, I bought it from AutoZone. And it has a, I think a lifetime warranty on it. I have to, whenever I get time, I'll have to look for the receipt and the box that came in. So yeah, if it is just the timing chain and the timing chain cover, which if it ain't that, I am pretty much screwed. Because I don't work during deer season, and yeah, that truck's gonna be sitting there for a while. Cause I don't make no money off these videos at all. Too small of a channel, but I ain't worried about it. The video that is not making, not making money on it. The way I see it, they're. I mean, I'm a small channel, so what? I enjoy making these videos, and you guys seem to enjoy watching them. So, yeah, not really a big deal. There's other ways to make money legal ways so tomorrow 
after hunting or just in general tomorrow morning or something like that. I ain't really decided on where I want to go get the truck yet. Go get it, pull it home, and have fun digging into it. Which I'll probably rig some kind of little deal up for the sports action camera. That way it'll capture everything. <sighs> Just sucks. I, I can. I've talked to a bunch of people just in the last little while. I can't figure out why, why it broke so soon. Didn't get 300 miles out of it. Thought it might have been. Well, actually, I thought it might have been the old, uh, low oil sensor because, well, low, low, I mean, low oil uh, shut off because it was low on oil. So, yeah, put some oil into it and tried cranking her over and nope. All it did is make turning, you know, like it was turning over and stuff like that. It wasn't firing though. So I get to, well it ain't that hard to put in time really. And it's going to be easier than the first time I took it apart because I know what I'm doing now. Yeah that would have been a hell of a video right there. I mean it took me three days to figure out how to take it apart. God forbid if I ever had to take the water pump off. And if you're wondering, it's a little 2.2 four-cylinder. Oh, three. Thank God they ain't a little car. That would be a nightmare for a time chain. But oh hell, it. Just remember to have it full of antifreeze too. Which means I will pretty much lose a lot of it. If not all of it. So you so maybe one, two videos coming up because of the freaking truck and that's about it because um, I imagine a four, it, the camera's got like I got two 32 gigabyte chips it'll gigabyte megabyte I don't know one of the, the bigger one four hours a piece that's eight hours so I don't think you guys want that long of a video so I'll probably part it out into oh it takes that long that is shouldn't take that long to take it apart and check on it so a couple of hours maybe one or two at the most and yeah sucks for me but rules for you guys because y'all get to well, be entertained by me uh, probably getting pissed off mad at it and just in general, want to hit it with a hammer, probably. Which I would never do. I mean, it's a great little gas saver. I mean, she's a Louise. Probably gets 
23 miles to the gallon. I ain't even trying. What sucks is that was... I was taking it in to get a little bit more gas for it. So I could take it hunting tomorrow. Well, to the cross, actually. And yes, it decided it wanted to stop right in the middle of the highway. Only problem was, I wasn't the one driving. My mother was. And she freaked out a little bit for some reason. Told her to park, show her where the road was to, you know, turn off and stuff like that. For some reason, unbeknownst to me, she goes four or five foot past the road and tries to turn off into a pretty good sized ditch hole and why this was going on the truck is in the well basically crossways in the middle of the highway yeah that and I had well we had to basically push it back and Luckily, my brother was behind us, so ride home and <sighs> but like I said, hopefully it's the timing chain or just the timing chain tension because if it's just if it's just timing chain tension it that won't be that hard. But then again, I gotta put it back in time. Great. Well, if it wasn't. Oh, yeah, it would be loose, so it wouldn't turn over. Even if it had the time machine on it, so. It had to be just a time machine tensioner. Hopefully. <sighs> All I gotta say is if it. If. AutoZone doesn't make good on their warranty. Um, I'll probably just order it off Rock Auto if they don't do it. Just the time and chain and time and chain tensioner if I need it. Or if I look at, go in there and find out that one of the gears is messed up, it'll be even worse. No, wait a minute. If it's the bottom gear, I have one. If it's the top gear, I'll need one. I have to look into that. There, just not thought of that. We said bottom gear, the old bottom gear was fine, so I left it in there. So if it's that, I have one. You just have to find it. And if it's the top gear, which was a brand new one, it would be weird for it to fracture and bust or just lose teeth. It'll be under warranty. So, what I have to do is look up how to change the bottom gear, so not pulley, gear. I'm sorry about that. On a 2.2 uh, Chevy engine. Yeah. That ought to be fun. Well, I, I guess several more, so it should be easy. Thank God for YouTube and its uh, vast video library. <clears throat> So, yeah. Sitting here down to talk to you on the, to this here camera. It seems to really help some, on some things. 
So, yeah. That's what I've got to do. Look out for the videos coming. After I post this on the course. Look out for the videos coming up. And, yeah. Hopefully y'all are having a good deer season. Mine's kind of going south. Not very good. Well, as always, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to leave a comment, go right on ahead. And if you want, uh, you know, if you want to see more of my videos coming up and also some of my old videos, hit the old subscribe button. So, I guess I'll see y'all on the next video. Hope y'all are having a good week. Because I ain't.